Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to try and keep the intro really brief. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some Mike Wazowski charms, which will be part of a new series that I'm doing where I will make a whole bunch of different characters and put them on Oreos, macarons, and books. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. And now I'm just going to take some tan clay, and these are going to be the horns. So what you want to do, you want to roll it out so it's tapered on each end. If that doesn't really make sense, just watch the video. And then I'm going to um, take my X-Acto knife and cut off where I want the horns to go. Then I am going to place the horns where I want them to be on the Oreo and I'm just pressing them firmly onto the Oreo without damaging the shape. This will just make sure that they stay on nice and tight and they don't fall off after you've baked your charm. Now you want to take some white clay in a sphere and then you want to flatten that to be the center of your eye and just place that in the middle of your Oreo. And then you want to take um, some darker green clay and you want to make that into a slightly smaller sphere. And then you want to press that onto the middle of the white part of the eye. And then you want to do the same thing with black. Just put that in the middle of the darker green clay. And now you want to take some white clay, just this little tiny minuscule ball of it, and place that at the top of the black circle for the highlight of the eye. Moving on to the macaron, we want to take a ball of lime green clay and you want to roll it out. Um, and you want to make sure you don't roll it out too thin, um, but you don't want it to be super thick either. Just, just um, copy what I'm doing. And then you want to take a small circle cookie cutter and cut out two circles. These will be the bases for the macaron shells. So now you want to take a small ball of lime green clay and you want to roll that into a really thin snake. If you're not sure of how thin it should be, just look at the video. And then once you've got it to your desired thickness, you want to take it and you want to wrap it around the bottom of your macaron shells. And these will be the parts that you're going to texture later on. Now you just want to take a needle tool and you want to make small circular motions on the um, snake of clay that we made um, and this will create a nice texture for your macaron. Next what you want to do, you want to take a ball of darker green clay that is smaller than your macaron shells. And you just want to flatten that and then you want to place it um, in between both of the shells to make um, a nice cream for your macaron shell. And then you want to do the same thing that you did with the other charm by making the horns and the eye. And I'm not going to show this for either charm. So moving on to our next charm, you want to take a rolling pin and roll out some lime green clay, nice and thin. Um, this will be the cover for our book, so roll it to however thick you want the book cover to be. And now you want to take a blade and you want to cut it into a rectangle. And um, this just makes um, the whole process of making the book a lot easier. And you want the height to be however tall you want your book to be. And so now I'm just taking some white clay that I flattened a little bit to be the thickness that I want my book to be. 
and I am just using the book cover as a reference so I get the right size and I'm just cutting down the white clay to fit the lime green clay. And so now what you want to do, you want to take your blade and you only want to cut through the white clay, not the lime green. So as you probably noticed, um, your book cover with the pages will not line up evenly. So you just want to trim them down so they are nice and even with each other. And then what you want to do next is you want to take a dotting tool and you just want to make a nice indent um, where the spine of your book will be. Um, again, if any of this really doesn't make sense, you just want to watch the video. It probably explains it better than I can. So now you want to take an X-Acto knife or any blade and you just want to make indents where the pages will go and try to keep the number of pages her side the same just to make sure it looks nice and even around your book. <laughs> 